back, my friends, to the show that never ends, and glad you could attend. And today we're going to take a look at The Lone Ranger. Excuse me, Disney's The Lone Ranger. Yes, brought to us by director Gore Verbinski, who brought us the Pirates of the Caribbean trilogy that we've all grown to love. And here he's directing Johnny Depp as well, who's playing Tonto, who tells us the tale of the legend and the origin story of The Lone Ranger and the part that he played as uh, the Lone in the Lone Ranger legend, if you will. And that, that's basically the story of what we get. Now, the thing with this film is I enjoyed it, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, it was entertaining. Loved the action scenes, a lot of action scenes in here. Some fun action scenes, some scenes that uh, had some depth to them and, could have, and went a little darker than I thought. But right there, though, the film also had too many humorous moments. It, they, just when I thought they were going to go in a little bit darker direction, I was kind of happy to see that. I'm like, oh, this is a kind of a new angle with the Lone Ranger. We've got a potential here of having kind of a deep and serious scene, and then they, boom, add joke or add humor. Now, maybe they were trying to balance the dark and light, but they went a little too much with the joke, especially a running joke. They, they beat the it's beating a dead horse, folks, with these jokes, okay? No pun intended. But I would have liked to have seen a little less humor and a little more seriousness in this. Now, Johnny Depp does great, but he does embody some things from Jack Sparrow. He's brought them over in Tonto. Though you can tell he's kind of repressing them a little bit, they are there. You can't help it, and maybe that's probably because... You've got Gore Verbinski directing him and maybe saying, uh, you know, he may want to do a little bit of Jack Sparrow in there with the Tonto. So maybe that's it. Maybe it's the fact they gave Tonto maybe one too many humorous points. There's a section in here where we get Tonto's origin story. Loved that bit. A nice, well-written bit. Great origin story. And it gave us an explanation of why Tonto was the way he was, why he was a bit quirky. And I liked that. But again, they just a little too much on the humor with the Tonto character in the humorous scenes, you know. Would have liked to see a few more serious, dark scenes. That would have been a great way to take this kind of cheesy, lighter serial and, and give it a new modern twist. And maybe, too, it was because of Army Hammer. His performance, I didn't quite feel the connection there with Lone Ranger. almost felt like you could put anybody in that role. And, again, it could fall back to the script or the fact that he's mostly done TV outside of a couple uh, roles in some other uh, big screen pictures. And I think this film might have been just too big for his shoulders. Not sure, but would have really said almost anybody could have been in the role of Lone Ranger. Now he does have a great supporting cast. William Finchner nails it as the bad guy. Butch Cavendish, no surprise there. Finchner does great as villains, though I don't know how I'm going to do as Shredder, but that's a whole other rant altogether. But Finchner does great. In fact, all the people they got to play the villains in the supporting cast are really a lot of fun and well-written, and it almost like they put more effort into those characters than they did in the Lone Ranger character. Uh, in the end, it is an entertaining film, action sequences are great, and I would say it's worth a matinee price. I did only have to give it two and three quarters stubs, because there was so much potential there for it being better, and I think with just a little bit better casting, a little bit trimming of the script down to two hours from two and a half hours, you could have it a tighter, a little more mature Lone Ranger, which would have been a nice direction for them to, to take a modern version of this classic serial. And then about do it for us here at the final cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.